Welcome back! In video 1 and 2 we learned about the assessment used for learning and the learning process in CBL, which is the formative assessment. We will now learn about the assessment of learning, the result, which is the solution, the final product, and which is called the summative assessment. Let us start with what summative assessment is. After the students finalize their learning activities, the summative assessment is used to detect how much knowledge and skills they have achieved. In CBL, a summative event is implemented with the culmination and implementation of the challenge solution. Summative assessment can be overviewed by the following main aspects. Summative assessment is the assessment of learning used for the purpose to measure attainment. It is conducted at the end of learning. It is focused and on the final product, that is the result of learning. It is performed primarily by the teacher, but we will also talk about some possible assessors. It is used as a final evaluation. So who exactly performs the summative assessment? As is with the formative assessment, the same is with the summative assessment, where the main assessor is the teacher. Moreover, students could and should add onto the final assessment by filling out the self-assessment forms and the pair or team assessment forms as well. While assessing the final result, a teacher may want to invite the relevant external partners such as representatives of local public sector or business companies representing certain relevant areas. These external partners would then be able to provide real-world insights and perspectives while assessing the final student's result. Certainly, if the original challenge was formulated and offered by some institution, the representatives of the institution should participate as the reviewers of the student's proposal, the final solution. In addition, especially relevant for the interdisciplinary CBL projects, same as during the formative assessment, the teachers from the other relevant disciplines might also participate in the final assessment. Thus, the teachers and the external partners could comprise a sort of an assessment board each providing feedback and insights on the relevant part of expertise and giving a final grade. It is important for all participating assessors to come together and agree on the applied final assessment. Meanwhile, the teacher is the one who calculates the final grade. The final results could also be presented to quite a various group of outside participants, such as local business leaders, incubators, investors, business angels, government and civil society, the media, in such events as hackathons, etc. This is how students could show their work to the general society. External assessors could also offer some sort of inspirational prizes, incentives for the winning groups.